in this video I'm going to show you how to build a simple web scraper using Node.js and in this particular video I'm using two libraries the first one is Cheerio and the second one is request promise basically request promise is used to send HTTP requests to a URL and Cheerio is responsible for parsing the HTML that we get back as a response by making a request using this library request promise so let's get started let's define two variables the first one is Cheerio let's just simply require it Cheerio and the second one is request promise so require a request promise let's define a variable called url let's define an object called headers header object in which we will keep the url value equal to the url defined above so basically this is a different syntax i use this syntax because i can send headers as a a request so you can simply do this wait let me show you you can simply request to the URL defined here but I use this syntax because to make the request more legitimate I'll send the headers like run uh, like the user agent or or the method or anything like that with the request that I'm sending so for now let's just remove it and let's just pass on header object in this method and then just uh, chain the then callback in which we are going to retrieve the HTML of the URL and if there is any error in this part it will be automatically caught by the catch callback here and we'll just log it out here the error and let's log the HTML here let's first set header object here okay. let's first select so here I've selected this simple HTML page on which we are trying to scrape so let's copy this URL and let's paste it here let's just close this let's paste it here and let's see what we get let's run the script node index let's see yes, so we got something so this something is equal to this right here the structure of the HTML page to which we are sending a get request so that means everything on this web page is basically in this markup so let's just try to scrape something let's first define a dollar sign variable serial dot load and then just load in the HTML so basically the load method it's provided by the Cheerio library in the layman's language we can say this HTML is now available in this dollar sign let me show you let's select something 
let's let's do this let's just let's just select something on this page let's just select this c++ object oriented okay let's select this okay it's an h1 tag in a div which belongs to this div okay let's define a variable const header which will be equal to the dollar sign the dollar sign here is this HTML and the selector we are going to write here will select this in this HTML let's just write div dot content and in content we have got this div the immediate child so I don't have to specify the class name here and then I want to select the HT, sorry the h1 tag so now that we have got the h1 selected I want to select the text this is just a function with which will retrieve or we can say extract the text out of this h1 tag that means this task this text so if there are any extra spaces we'll trim the extra spaces by adding trim along with it and let's just print it out and see if it works let's just see if it works let's just start a new instance node index let's run it okay so we got to see plus plus object oriented back which is same as this is so let's just select something else on this page let's just let's just select this paragraph let's just write the selector const paragraph equals it equals to this p tag okay so this p tag belongs to this div tag because you can see this this belongs to this div tag and that div tag belongs to this div tag so that means first we have to select the parent tag which is the content tag and then the immediate child tag which is the div tag and in that div tag i want to select the 11th child of this div tag so that means one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven okay so that means i have to write p nth child 11 i want to retrieve the text and i want to trim the text if there are any extra unwanted spaces and then just log it to this terminal console log paragraph let's see what we get Not index okay we got the core of project oriented programming okay let's now do something more dynamic let's select all the paragraph tags in this HTML page so how are we gonna do it okay every paragraph tag that lies on this HTML page is present in this dev class called md7 and whatever it is let's just let's just remove this let's remove these two log statements let's remove this because we don't want the text of this one so let's select div class content which is already selected and let's traverse to this div which is already there and let's select all the paragraph tags in this div 
for that we need to delete this part right here and then we need to run a loop like this these are basically ES6 fat arrow syntax for writing a function this is basically a callback function okay so in this loop we have access to every paragraph tag that we have selected here okay so let's just remove this because we want to select every paragraph in this each loop and let's just select it like this here we are saying select every paragraph tag and extract the text out of it and trim the text if there are any extra spaces so for more better manner let's define a an array okay let's call it data an empty array and let's just push this paragraph into that array so let's do data dot push let's push an object which contains the paragraph and then let's see where this each loop ends it ends here so let's print out the data array here data okay let's run the code and see if it's working node index okay so let's compare the result with the actual paragraphs the first one is the prime purpose okay and the second one is the core okay the third one is there are few principal concepts okay the fourth one okay we have got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten twelve we have got twelve paragraphs on the HTML page so let's just log out the length of the array which should be twelve because there are only twelve oh sorry there are only twelve paragraphs so let's just print out data dot length let's see what we get let's do this the length of the array is data dot length let's see what we get we should get 12 as the output the length of the array is 12 because in this page on this page we have got 12 paragraphs 1 2 okay let's not count it again so we scraped a simple HTML page in just 27 lines of code this thanks for watching the video and please like the video and subscribe